All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your general love reading. Keep in mind, this is general, so it may or may not resonate. Also too, um, for those of you who watch my readings daily, understand that some days it'll resonate, some days it won't, right? I'm not pulling on any specific continuing storyline. I just see what comes through. Um, my intention is to have a message that's gonna resonate with as many people as possible. Okay, so it may or may not be your story. Hopefully you'll know from the title um, and as you go through the reading. If you guys want to book something more personal, my information is down below in the description box. All right, but let's jump in. I'm not going to do the actual format that I've been doing. I'm just going to kind of pull some cards and intuitively pick up on the, the story here. Okay, so let's see what's going on here with you and your person. What's coming through? <clears throat> what's coming through for you and your person? So this is for those of you who have someone specific on your mind, okay? You have strength in reverse. Could be a Leo that you're dealing with. You could be a Leo. What's going on here? You have the Ten of Swords. Hierophant in reverse. Okay, I'm getting a lot. Okay, so right off the bat, definitely with the Ten of Swords, there's been a lot of pain in this connection with this person. I feel like there's pain for both of you. It's not just, not just you, not just them. It's pain on both sides here, okay? Um... I'm also getting that this is a connection that maybe you are, I, you could have been committed to this person in the past. Maybe you were married to them. You guys got a divorce or you were non, or you guys um, broke up. The other storyline I'm getting here is this could have been a connection that was very non-committal. Okay, with the higher font in reverse. Now, the huge issue here at play that I'm seeing for you and this person is confidence issues, solar plexus issues, not feeling like you're enough, okay? Um, looking for love in all of the wrong places. So this seems like the type of connection where maybe the two of you came together and maybe you were seeking, you know, some sort of your sense of self for this person or maybe you're hoping that this, yeah, look at this, split on self-worth, literally. Maybe you were trying to, you know, um, oftentimes in the 3D world, what people deem as love is actually is actually fear-based connection, which is, you know, you find someone and you hope that that person is going to be kind of the answer to your pain or your um, inadequacies in some way. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here is that maybe you and this person kind of met at a time where both of you are still needing to love yourselves, heal yourselves. Okay, yeah, we have numbing here. We have balancing the scales. We have union. Okay, so I feel like there is a potential for you and this person to have a harmonious union here with this card, but it seems like there needs to be some more balance in this connection, like things need to balance out here, and we have numbing here, okay, and that's kind of exactly what I was saying. Sometimes the Nine of Cups in reverse can also be numbing, where it, Nine of Cups in reverse is either not feeling good enough, addictions, or looking for love in all of the wrong places. It's like you haven't found it in yourself yet. So you're hoping that a person's gonna make you feel love, or you're hoping that, you know, alcohol or drugs is gonna help, like help you to, you know, fill the void, whatever it is. Um, so I feel like that is what was kind of connecting the two of you, and that's why this connection could have been very painful. There could have been a lot of karmic lessons that you and this person um, were dealing with here. Okay, clarify balancing the scales. Clarify balancing the scales. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Mm hmm. A lot of self-limiting beliefs. Okay, I feel like this connection was very. Um, how do I put it? It's like. <laughs> There are some people that you meet and it just goes slowly, or not slowly, smoothly. Like connections, some connections you meet and it's like the connection is just smooth sailing. Um, but then there's certain people that we meet and it's like, it's tough, right? It's tough because what that person is revealing to us is all of the self-limiting beliefs that we have, all of our insecurities, all of our, you know, um, sense of lack, whatever it is. So I feel like there's a lot of challenges here. Um, and there's a call to, you know, bring balance first if you want to have a union with this person. Okay, let's see where your person's at in regards to you right now. Okay, what's your person's current energy towards you? What's your person's current energy towards you? They miss you. Six of Cups in reverse. Um, Ace of Cups. See, there's a numbing card. Ace of Cups in reverse. They're trying to put. They're trying to push their feelings down. But they miss you. Um, you could have a past life with this person, or maybe you've known this person in the past, like, like not just the past that you guys had, but maybe there was like more history. Um, for those of you, though, if you didn't know this person, like in the far past, it could be that you have a past life connection with this person here, or they felt a very strong sense of familiarity with you. Okay, um, but right now, yeah, 
they're thinking about you for sure, but they're trying to numb. Like they're trying to suppress these feelings. They're trying to push them down and pretend they're not there, but they do miss you. Um, they're thinking about you a lot. It's like this person can't get you out of their head. Nine of swords. Okay. Um, what are they stressed about? What is this person stressed about? Waiting. They might be waiting for you. What is this? Three of swords. Yeah, they're feeling rejected. They feel like they missed an opportunity. This person feels like they had something right in front of them and they missed it. Like they're feeling like, damn, what did I do? Maybe I took too long. Maybe I didn't see what was in front of me when it was there. They're feeling like they're missing an opportunity with you. They're stressing out because they don't know what the future holds. Some of them may be waiting here and they feel like the longer they wait, the more they're gonna miss this opportunity, okay? But they might not be taking that action because of this doubt. So what is your energy towards this person? What's your energy? Oh, you guys are letting go. You guys are moving on to better, bigger, better. Magician, four of pentacles, reverse, eight of cups, and the fool. You guys are manifesting something here. You're manifesting um, something new, okay? I feel like you guys are letting this go right now. This kind of feels similar to the last reading I did. Um, the collective does seem kind of to be sort of the same storyline, actually, even though my intention was just to, you know, see what comes out. But it seems very similar. Because I think the last reading I did was... You're turning your back on this person, right? You guys are walking away. We have the Four of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Cups. This is my card of letting go and walking away. I feel like with the Magician here, some of you guys may be, you know, still open to manifesting something with this person, but you're needing some new energy here, fool. Like you're needing it to be renewed. You're needing something new. You're needing to like start over or kind of walk away from the old, okay? So let's see. Actually, let me grab a different deck. We'll see, what is this person that you're dealing with? Okay, what do they want with you? What does this person want with my viewers? Okay, we have Taurus energy here as well. Um, yeah, okay. What does this person want with you? Taurus and Leo is what I'm seeing. What does this person want with you? They don't see, they don't know. Two of pentacles in reverse. This is someone who's wishy-washy. Why is this here? What does this person want with my viewers? Yeah, exactly. Look at this. They're so confused. Oh my gosh. Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles. This person is so confused as, what they, as to what they want. Seven of Cups is literally the card of confusion. Two of Wands, indecision. Two of Pentacles, indecision. <laughs> okay, so... Um, if you're getting kind of weird vibes from this person or maybe in the past if they were kind of wishy-washy with you, that is because they really don't know what they want. They really don't know what they want. I feel like they're stressed because they don't want to miss this opportunity, but they're also like, is this what I want? I don't know. Um, let's see. What is this sort of indecisive energy? Where is this coming from? Oh, it's about commitment. It's about commitment. Isn't it always about commitment? Because I feel like in the past the issue was commitment, right? Non-committal, someone here was non-committal. I feel like that's what they're trying to figure out. It's like, do I want this? Like, do I want to commit? Um, you know, is this the person that I want to commit to? Or maybe just, it could just be in general. Like, do I want to commit? Like, is that something I want to do? Or do I want to keep my options open right now? Seven of cups, but I feel like they're stressed out that they're gonna miss an opportunity. This literally seems like the same reading I did the other day. <laughs> Um, so if this resonates with you, definitely go check out the other, um, the other reading that I did. Cause I think it was like, you turned your back on this person and they don't want to lose you or they don't want you to be with someone else. That's literally what it feels like here, but they can't make up their mind. This person right now, they're not making up their mind. They don't know. It's, what do you guys want? What do my viewers want with this person that they're dealing with? Page of pentacles. You guys are holding back right now. Why is this here? But you do want to talk. So you have the Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Wands. Let's actually get one more. That's a little confusing. You guys are kind of wishy-washy too. Oh, that's why. So I feel like what you want is you do actually want to talk to this person, but you also at the same time don't want to because with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, this is like holding back messages. But I feel like the reason why you're kind of like, ah, I want to talk, but yeah, no, I don't, is because with the tower in reverse, you're really afraid of change. Some of you might have been so hurt by this person in the past that's like you don't want to go there again, tower in reverse. It's like I, I want to avoid a disaster with this person. So that's why I feel like right now you're kind of walking away. As well as kind of your energy is a little bit, you know, it's like, again, I think both of you guys are kind of mirroring each other because they don't really know what they want. 
you're walking away but also still kind of want to like want to talk or still kind of want a new beginning so i think both of you guys are confused let's see what's the challenge here yeah see happiness this is exactly it and this is what i was saying before like what's connecting you guys is the nine of cups in reverse right the challenge is the nine of cups so it's about self-love it's about being happy on your own this is the challenge so what would actually clear things up what would actually bring things back into balance is self-love or just being happy in general like being happy on your own not because of each other like you're happy or you're happy because you're happy they're happy because they're happy and then from that place you can actually create something because i feel like there's just a lot of self-limiting beliefs a lot of um limitation in general right now for this connection okay um what is the likely outcome here for these two what's the likely outcome here for these two internal conflict five of wands in reverse i think you guys are still going to be kind of in each other's head like wondering what if or should we do something let's see the queen of cups you still have love for this person they still have love for you but i feel like it's an internal battle of like what do we do with this both of you guys are still kind of holding on but um we also have cancer pisces scorpio here as well probably more signs but anyways um what i'm getting guys like i'm getting that be in the near future it's like there's still feelings here you guys still have love for each other but at the same time too there's this internal battle right now okay both of you kind of have one foot in one foot out that's what i would say what's their message for you yeah i'm going through a lot okay see i think that was even like the no communication reading i think it was something like that yeah see look at this that makes a lot of sense. I'm going through a lot. Now is not the right time. Okay. So let's actually clarify and get some detail on this for your person. I swear though, that is what I, that, I think that's the no communication reading too. was like the person was going through a lot or the person was having a tough time. Let's see. What is this for the person that you're dealing with? What is it that they're going through? They're stuck right now in their life. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see, clarify it. I'm going through a lot. They're having money issues as well. Or some of them are, yeah. This person is trying to move forward in their life, but they can't, like they, they're stuck. I feel like it has to do with money because we have literally all pentacles here. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles all in reverse. This person I think recently lost something financially. Um, they might have had to like let go of their savings or they might have had to use up all their savings or something like that is what I'm hearing I feel like there's a financial struggle here or something about their st stability like their stability has been shaken up in their life I'm also getting that they're trying to move forward in their financial world But it, they can't like they're stuck and it mainly has to do with the, the fact that this person right now Is kind of like staying where they're familiar like with the three of wands in reverse this person is kind of afraid to step into the unknown so they're kind of just stirring in their own um you know familiarity which is keeping them stuck okay so right now in terms of the connection that's probably why i'm seeing this internal conflict because they feel like now is not the right time like they don't feel like now is the right time to approach you or to do anything about the connection okay let's see what your advice is okay what is the advice for my viewers what is the advice the advice here for you guys see did i not say this at the very beginning of the reading i <laughs> go and rewind okay because what i was saying at the very beginning we had the nine of cups in reverse somewhere over here and we have the strength card in reverse these are my two cards of like not feeling good enough lack of confidence and i always see that related to the solar plexus because the solar plexus has to do with our sense of identi identity how do we feel about ourselves right when we're confident when we're um when we're feeling good about who we are as a person our solar plexus is in balance so i feel like this is a big thing that you guys are being called to work on because this is your advice right now your solar plexus is out of balance you're needing to work on your identity right who are you you know who do you want to be um your sense of individuality do you feel confident in yourself what do you what is it that you want are you going after that um for a lot of you i do feel like you are trying to manifest things in your life if you find that things are blocked right now like if you find that you're not able to manifest the things that you want it most likely has to do with your solar plexus okay let's see what else we have here what's the advice from my viewers here and your heart wow okay these literally aren't chakra cards just by the way like this is literally still a tarot deck um it's a little bit different as a psychic tarot but 
we're getting all chakras. So there's a big message here that you guys are needing to focus on um, your kind of internal world, right? Working on your chakras, maybe getting some Reiki done. You guys are needing to also work on your heart. It could be blocking your love life right now. You guys, actually, let me clarify. Let's see. I'm going to use the emotional blockages deck to clarify the heart chakra. Okay. Okay. Clarify heart chakra for my viewers. Disconnected, yeah. So you may feel that when it comes to your relationships, or it could just be your romantic relationships, but it might be it might be across the board. If you're feeling really disconnected, like if you find that you're having a hard time connecting to people, connecting to the, this person that you're dealing with, connecting to your family, whoever, this is because your heart chakra is majorly blocked right now. So you guys are needing to deal with your resentment, your grief, jealousy, whatever it may be that's blocking you guys. Um, just, I would say across the board, just work on your chakras, work on alignment, um, cause that's really going to help you here with this connection, but also in general. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you want to book your own personal reading, as always, my information is down below. Um, I did add a new reading. So there's a life, love and career reading on there. And then I have the, uh, the love reading. So the different types of love reading. So that is Across the board, doesn't matter if it's a twin flame, a soulmate, karmic. You just need to have your name and then the other person's name, okay? Anyway, so that's what I have for you guys. So I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.